did you ever have like doubt about bringing Atlas to life, for example, or 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 with Big Dog? Just every step of the way, did you have doubt? Like, what, what? This is this is too hard of a problem. I mean, at first, I wasn't an enthusiast for the humanoids because, again, it goes back to saying what's the functionality, and the form wasn't as important as the functionality, uh, and I th and also. You know, there's a an aspect to humanoid robots that's about uh, all about the cosmetics, where there isn't really other functionality, and that kind of is off-putting for me uh, as a roboticist. I think the functionality really matters. So probably that's why I avoided uh, human robots, humanoid robots, to start with. But I'll tell you um, now. You know, after we started working on them, you could see that the imp the connection and the impact with with uh, other people, whether they're Lay people, or even other technical people, uh, there's a there's a a special thing that goes on. Uh, even though most of the humanoid robots aren't that much like a person, but we anthropomorphize <laughs> and we see That's right. the humanity. Uh, but also, like with uh, with Spot, you can see not the humanity, but the what, whatever we find compelling about social interactions there in Spot as well. I tell you, you know, I go around giving talks and take Spot to to a lot of them. And it's amazing. The media likes to say that they're terrifying and and that people are afraid. And and YouTube commenters like to say that it's frightening. But when you take a spot out there, you, now maybe it's self-selecting, but you get a crowd of people who want to take pictures, want to pose for selfies, want to operate the robot, want to pet it, want to put clothes on it. Uh, it's amazing.